Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. It is Tuesday the 3rd of November and it is 8.18 in the morning. Yes, we're starting early. And if you didn't know, this is my floss tube number 46, I believe. Yep, 46. And here we are, another week passed. Molly's over here laying next to her new baby. I gotta show your new baby. This is her new baby. This is City. Can you say hi? Yeah, she's all nice and soft. Yeah, we were gonna call her Sydney, but you know, it's either City or Sydney. My daughter named her City. So, yes, I, no, you can have a back. She's all freaking out because she likes it. She lays next to it. it. It's time to retire Lamekins because Lamekins has been around for like five years. Yeah. We're, we're done with Lamekins. We got her at, uh, for Easter. I think that first year I was here, so it was like 2016 or earlier. Yeah. So that my daughter said that she needed to have something to... Um, watch you know this is funny remember the fly I told you about the other day that was driving me insane well he's back but he's also on the corner he's waving his little wing at me like hi yeah he's over where I should be looking so yeah I'll just keep my little eye on him anyway back to stitching yes this is one of my sweaters I got from the big thrift store yep and I've got my coffee in my bear mug. Isn't it cool? I just love this mug. It's huge, but no. And I like it that it's got, I don't know if you can see, there's a bear paw. I gotta go that way. There's a bear paw on the inside of it. Yeah. I haven't used this too much, but I thought, yeah, I will. And sorry, it's got lipstick on it. And let's see, what else did I get? Yesterday, while we were at Walmart, my daughter and I found this cute little Christmas ornament. It's a little trailer. And since we both lived in a camper, then, yeah, we each had to have one. They were two bucks. It's made out of styrofoamy stuff. It's all silver on the bottom. So, yeah, and I love it that the lights, little tiny lights around the whole thing. Yeah. It looks familiar. It just reminds me why I'm never going camping again back to focus right okay well I have you know I didn't work on too much this week at all it's just been a week a week a week a week yeah so we'll just start right in I only worked on like eight things and one seven Seven of them were my videos. So, yeah, I just kind of flowed from one thing to the next, but not, not hyper so. Does that make sense? Anyway. So, out of the bag here, the first thing that I worked on, I had problems with this this morning. What is the deal here? This is Autumn Quaker by Rosewood Manor. Yeah, we're not getting very far fast. But it'll be one of the, whoops, sorry, the focus ones. It's really a pretty pattern. And I like it that it's motifs, so you can just kind of go from one thing to the next. But we're in this corner right here. I'm trying to keep the glare off. I opened up the, the light, or the curtain over there. I forgot. Yeah. So this is all we've got done. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yep, yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, I can't get any momentum on this one at all. Of course, you know, sometimes I'll do a video on something and then I won't touch it for the rest of the day or the rest of the week, as far as that goes. And let's see. We worked on yin and yang this week. Got out one of my, whoops. Move that pin so it doesn't get left in the chair. 
Yin and Yang is a pattern that I got, I believe, it's either one or two places, because I was only ordering from two places when I was buying uh, stamped cross-stitch. Um, one is either, it's either Amazon or AliExpress, and I have to make sure it's going the right way. This is Yin and Yang. There we go. It is so pretty. And it would probably been prettier if I did it in <coughs> in the silky thread, but it was just driving me insane. So, this is how much of it that is totally done. Yeah, it's taken a while, but I've almost got the phoenix done over here and we started down here in this bottom this week working our way across on the dragon so it's kind of my comfort stitching where I don't have to count if I do, don't want to oh there's another needle do you think that needles long enough look at how long that needle is I can't use them so yeah I take it out and put a few stitches in it when all I want to do is stitch and I don't have to think about it oh the fly disappeared Yay! He's out there somewhere. I think he's planning on staying for the winter. I, I really do. I wish he'd just go away. Um, let's see. And the next thing that I have here, these aren't in any particular order, is Blackbird Design Sweet Summer Come Again. Whoops, sorry. Flashing. This is what it looks like. Whoops. I'm trying, trying to get the thing up. So, okay, we'll go this way. I'm working on this one, as you know. And it's still in its little hoop, but I'm going to leave it in a hoop. It's on a piece of uh, 16 count Regency from Picture This Plus. I believe it's Regency. It's either Regency or Heritage. But it's kind of a a parchment look. It's the tan one. So I worked this week and got an extra one of the strawberries, half of the strawberry here. And then I got hooked into the basket. So I don't know if I like that secondary color. I like the color that the you know the basket shape is made out of. I may take that light color out. I don't know. I haven't decided. And put like a darker color in it so that it makes like a weavy, more of a weave look. But I just don't think you can see that really well. Maybe you can. I don't know. But it's coming along. So all I need to do, there's another strawberry up here. And then there's some little, let me show you. It's easier to show it on the pattern, I think maybe there are some doodads here and there and then you got the white flowers and stuff so I don't know what I'm going to do about the white flowers and make make them into little tiny yellow flowers with like because I can't find any brighter white and I put well right here I did a test one but see it just kind of blends into the fabric like a little blob I made that one up here so I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want it to be too bright because, you know, then it'll throw the whole pattern off. I don't know. So we'll see what I decide. But that's, they're just little tiny details. i got to finish the basket, so. But it's going a lot better than Blackbird's Christmas thing. Did I? Yeah, it's in here. I was like, oh my God. Okay. So then I also worked on, this is Seeking Refuge by the Scarlet House. This is Seeking Refuge. It's kind of got a shimmer to it, but I'll try to get it separated. This is going to be a short, short video for me. Maybe. So, yeah.
So we got a little bit of this. Not, I thought I had them all organized, but evidently not. So on the video, we just worked on the little dog. But I'll show you what parts. Oh, crap. We'll just leave it like that. And fold it like so. So it's not so big. But that's all I've gotten done with that. I didn't go any further down in that house. Yeah. You really got to pay attention. So what I have been doing is putting the, um, the mortar in on the wall. Of the walls of the, the house. And then going back and putting in the red. That seems to work just fine. I can see where that's going. And then just... And I'm working my way down. So, I haven't put too much effort into that in a couple months or so. But, hey, it is what it is. I've been thinking about other things and too much going on in summer. Summer, like, consumes my life for, like, three or four months. Because it just lasts so long. Summer, I swear, lasts longer than winter around here. But just because of the people that are here. Um, I'm going to show you this one. And I worked. Uh, I put in four or five hours of this. This is. This is. Hang on. Everything is attached. I had it all folded up so that, yeah, I could just pull it out of there. I need to make another copy of this. But this is Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers. Everybody knows it. Everybody either loves it or hates it. So, yeah. And I'm in this corner. I'm about to do a page finish. Put that back before I lose it. I don't know where that came from. Hmm. I have a thread color that doesn't match too much of anything. It just certainly doesn't match this. This is 16 count Regency. It's the green one from Picture This Plus and DMC 34. So just a little bit more up here, I believe. And then I got that little unmasked mess that comes down this way. It starts here and it there's like a motif that comes across this way. So, but this is basically the edge of, of the pattern. So I have to tie it all in, but it'll come down right past that rabbit. So yeah, it's coming along. You know, if I can get a page finish before November, the end of November, we'll just have it made. And yeah, I was really pleased with the progress that I made on that. I just kept stitching, you know, and, and it was going, I was doing it line by line. Because for me, some days, that's especially long dogs, because they're so intricate. If I do it line by line by line by line, I'm fine. But if I sit there and look at the motif, I can't, for the life of me, get it where it needs to be. So, yeah. What can I say? Stuff happens around here. Then, let's see, we got... Bittersweet Trio. I love this. I just, it's so cute, but God, the back stitching. I know. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. But, oh, crap. Yep, and we're working on, we, me, the mouse, Molly, we're all working on this one right here. So I'd like to finish the squirrel sometime. Since I went out and specifically got the thing for it. I want to do all the animals, especially that fox. I just love him. Just absolutely love him. So I still haven't decided whether whether I'm going to uh, oops, uh, do them like all together in like a like a set. I have to see which way that goes. You know, like all in one piece because I've got this nice big piece of, hang on, we're getting there. It is, whoa, 14 count vintage country mocha. And that is, it's Zweigert. 
It's not Winchlet, it's Weigert. Oh, for pity's sake. Now I got threads everywhere. But yeah, it's Weigart because there's a Z there. And this is the same material that I'm using for Anna Omen. So let me take it out of here. Not that it'll help because this is kind of a stiff material. It feels soft to the touch, sort of, but it's still kind of stiff. So it'll get there, but it's really nice fabric. And I like the 14 count. So here's my little effort. It's going slow because of the back stitching. Back stitching and lettering are so not me. Yeah. So it takes me a moment. I like I did all those flowers in like 10 seconds and then I'm stuck on doing the back stitching so that it'll match up. Oop, come on. Come on. So, yep, I got the squirrel's head. But that's as far as I got. And I am using the, hmm, it calls for, this is the deal, it calls for Weeks Dye Works, I hope that's not backwards, but it calls for Weeks Dye Works and it does have the DMC alternates on the side. So when I ordered it from 123 Stitch, it had a list of all the DMC colors and I just recently bought the the tan brown for the the squirrel which didn't match but I evidently picked up another brown and it was more golden so that's that's what we're using for the squirrel's head yep so because the other one just kind of melded into the fabric because my fabric was a different color than what they called they called for natural brown linen from Winchlet Imports. So, yeah. Not happening. I'm not using linen ever. You know, I have a piece, but I don't want to have to use it. We're just going to shove that back in there and possibly that because I'm not real clear. Oh, I know what that goes to. Never mind. That goes to something else. It goes to um, Autumn Quaker, I believe. Put it away now, Laura. Put it away left now. Okay. And then this week I also worked on Quaker Christmas 2 by Bygone Stitches. I just love this. This is not going to be done for Christmas. Not unless I am a speed stitcher and I don't see that happening. Even if I worked on it every day in November and three quarters of December there is no way in heck that's gonna get done so yeah we just kind of face the facts kind of face the facts and I am using let me see it only called for two colors possibly three but I picked 220 really 221 is my red it's falling apart 221 is the red and I have to look 987 as my green and they're kind of a I'll call them a muted muted red and green I didn't want bright vivid like grass green and bright vivid like 666 red no wasn't happening so these are the colors that I picked and of course it's on 16 count Country French Cafe Mocha. Yeah. Oh, did I have it already? I did. So I worked on this for a few nights, but just, I mean, a few hours at a time because I am just wasn't happening. So last night I got the rest of this done and I started working on this star, which is in the middle of this mess but I got all the words done this week and did a couple more words over here just kind of going across I, I, I stopped here on this because this was kind of a county nightmare thing so 
and I couldn't see it. It was just like, ding, 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 you know, they were everywhere. I'm like, nope, that ain't happening. And it really didn't lend itself to go line by line. So, no, not happening. It was more of on an angle thing. But it's coming along. And in 112 years, I'll have it done. Yeah. But I do like to work on it. It's nice. Good pattern. I should have just printed it. You know, when I copied it, copied it a little darker so that, um, you know, I could see it a little better. But, yeah. And I make a copy, working copy, that is. Oh, I did get more of these. I got two more of these bucket things when I was at the... I know, don't mind the stuff, but it was down here. <coughs> The wind, when I leave the door open, it blows all the dust and crap in. So now we're we're starting to not do that because it's colder. You know, I leave it open maybe half an hour and then we're done. But it, it's like 50s and 60s, but still when the wind blows, it blows all the dust and the leaves off the trees and they're still shedding. So the next thing I worked on is Blackbird Designs Christmas Garden. My nemesis is this right here. I've been working on this for like, I swear, two months. I've just got to do something else. It's on 16 count, uh, Country French Cafe Mocha. And, 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 hang on. Well, shoot, I was trying to hide my, we're just gonna put pull it through lightly. Don't mind that little dot. Okay. So, I finally got this part done. Then, I finally got these done after I had to frog it out once. And there's flowers that come down and then trindle down that way and then trindle down this way. And then there's the basket in the middle. So, yeah. I would like to get that done because I got the tree done. Yeah. just got a, It's got three colors in it. And I did not use the call for. It's 498 for the red, 783 for the gold, and for the green it's 3346. I'm sorry, there's four colors. And then there's a 938. But I just, yeah, because I changed the color of the deer, I think. But I don't know. I don't know. There's another deer on the other side of that. So this is the, the starting of the other side. Does that make sense? This side is pretty much done. There might be a couple of little things up here. Plus I got to finish the, the border across. So it's not too wide. So it'll just be about half as, half as big on the other side. There's a few things. So, yeah. Last night, I finished that little part right down there. I was, I'm like, I started on the other side, and I went, no. Nope. No, nope. we're just, but I'm not going to put the red flowers in until I make sure that it um, matches. You know, because I might have to make a few adjustments, but that's it. And I put that tree on the other side. Where is it? So, where is it? The tree I finished. So, I've just got this motif right here, and then we're at here. But if it's off, like one or two, we ain't going back. No. This, it's not a nightmare. It's just that I'm making it into a nightmare, and I'm dragging it out. I, Because I'm paranoid it's not going to, to work out right, but we're going to get it. We're going to get it, even if i got to work around it and do it last. I don't know. I just, I want to make sure that the, what do you call it? The, uh, the border comes in and meets up right, so, yeah. So, I didn't get anything new. Well, I went to the thrift store and got a few things earlier in the week. But that was the only haul that I had this week. 
And, you know, I don't know what we're doing for Thanksgiving. I just, I have no idea. None. So, yeah. It's fun. So, yeah. But I'm excited because it's November. And the 15th is coming. We have, like, 11 more days before I start that, um, my ornament sale. So I will be starting a new ornament on the 15th of each month. And then hopefully by November 15th of next year, we'll have 12 ornaments. Somewhere in there. We'll have 11 or 12 or we'll finish the last one before the 15th of December. I don't know how that's all going to work out, but that's the plan. So I got everything I need to to start that. I'm just using the reds that I have because I have plenty of different shades of reds and I have the reds that one of my viewers sent to me. So I have reds and greens, so I'm planning on using those. And I have material to stitch on and these patterns are not very big. now. Y'all use whatever you want to use. You do whatever medium that you're you're going to use. You know, knitting, crocheting, needlepoint, uh, mixed media, uh, plastic canvas. I can't think of anything else. You, hell, you could paint. I don't care. But we're going to make one ornament a month for a year. That's what we're going to do. And I'm asking you to hold me accountable for each month to do that. And we're going to try to get them, I don't know if we can get them all fully finished. You know, I mean, that just depends on what you're doing. You know, if, if you want to go that far and, and push yourself to have them fully finished, go for it. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to, my, not fear, I just don't want to have 12 ornaments that I'm going to have to fully finish at the end. So that's why I'm saying I want to try to um, fully or yeah, fully finish one each month so that I can put them in a box and hold them until I collect them. And that way, we don't have to do anything artsy crafty ish like two weeks before Christmas next year. That, that just won't happen. It just won't. So, if we just fully finish them as we go. And there I watched Helen D. today. She did a round, fully finished one. And she showed how she did the cording. I'm sure that there are other ways to do cording. You know, but she had a little gadget that she wound and wound and wound and wound. I don't know. But... It was a nice tutorial and showed us how to put things together. I know that Vonna Pfeiffer is there on uh, YouTube with several tutorials on finishing. She's the queen, the absolute queen of finishes. So, yeah. I'm kind of out of frame here. Oh, God. Sorry. It was kind of driving me crazy. So, yeah. I think that, that you know, I think it's doable and I'm not going to be doing something that's like a miniature sampler that's that big. It, it just ain't happening. So I'm just using that book because all patterns are in the same place. Every week or every month I just go to that book and use that pattern. You know, use the pattern out of there. But that's easy for me. Whatever is easiest for you or you are interested in doing. I still want to see it. I still don't know how to set up a hashtag on uh, Instagram. So, you'll just have to share them with me. Yeah. There. I'm on Instagram at Stitching with Laura, all one word, on Instagram. So, follow me and we can add stuff or you can message me. I don't know how, what the technology word is because I've never touched Instagram until a couple of months ago and I people message me you know through Instagram but 
that's all I know. I, I minimal. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that that is going to be it for today. I can't think of anything else. Um, yeah. So this month, I guess I'm just gonna trying to get back to uh, Yale Crow. I work on the uh, Bittersweet Trio this month. These are the ones that I have that are autumn. Quaker Autumns. Autumn Quakers. Autumn Quakers. I don't know. And I got something else. I know I did. Whatever I have autumnish is what I'll work on. But I'm also going to work on my Christmas stuff because I want to finish Christmas Garden by Christmas. Yeah. 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 I don't think so. But, you know, hey, I've only got, like, almost the top half, so how bad can it be? <laughs> yeah, once I get past that basket of flower mess, yeah. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of looking at it. I'm tired of trying to get it together. So I may just go on and do the, like I said, the uh, border for a while and, and just... Put it down, put it away, don't look at it, and then come back to it. And then maybe. I just can't leave it alone. I'm like a dog without a bone, or with a bone. I just, I want it done. You know, and it's not happening. So, yeah. sometimes we just got to work around things and just kind of ignore the rest of it for a while and, and do other things. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, well, consider it, and please ring the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. We do one every day. Y'all have a good rest of your Tuesday, and we will see you tomorrow for a stitch along. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Keep stitching.